Can you believe it? We're only one episode away from the mid-season finale, and then we have to wait until 2024 for the final half of Season 7. With the show really hotting up as we follow on from the cliffhanger at the end of Episode 7, we saw Jeremiah go missing and also Jamie being seen in a critical condition on the battlefield. With a trailer being released for the upcoming episode, Episode 8, let's break down the trailer and explain all that there is to take away from it. Here is Outlander Season 7 Episode 8 Trailer Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. Oh, and if you enjoy the video then feel free to hit subscribe. Thanks. The trailer opened up with us seeing and hearing a military drum roll playing in the background as we saw a shot of the base of what looked like the morning after the battle that occurred. We also had a wide shot of the battlefield where the first battle of Saratoga took place in Episode 7 and the widespread devastation and destruction was present, showing the true effects of war. Then we got one of the most important shots in the entirety of the trailer and that was of Jamie being rolled over by Claire as she looked over at him and was in a concerned state. At this point, we still don't know if Jamie is going to be dead or if he's just in an unconscious state. Considering it looks as though it's been a while since the battle, it doesn't look good for him. However, I do find it hard to believe that he's going to be killed off with still so much time to go. It would be brave of the show to do that, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. In terms of the injuries that he's got, it mainly looks as though he's got an injury to his head from being hit with something that's caused him to be cut, rather than a bullet wound, so I feel that also leans towards him still being alive, but just unconscious. The next shot that we had was back in the present day, where it looks as though it's the morning after the evening that Roger and Buck went out to look for Jeremiah, judging by the light that was shining through the bottom of the door. This is where we heard the first line in the trailer, and it was spoken by Roger. He said, Rob took Jem through the stones. We found this. And the item that he found was what we saw at the end of Episode 7, which was Jem's scarf with the Tufty Club badge still pinned onto it. Whilst this was being said, Brie was standing there in a completely shocked state and had a panicked expression on her face. I feel this is going to be an episode where we're going to get some good acting from her. It already feels like by the tone in the voice in the trailer and the way that her character is coming across that she's going to be at the end of her limit and really delivering some emotional, powerful performances. We then had a line from Brie being spoken where she said, What do we do? in a way where it sounded as though her voice was breaking due to the emotion that was present, and Roger responded with, I'm going after them, as he was taking a box with him. A box that it seems as though has his clothes in that he wore when he last returned from the 1700s, showing that he wanted to ensure that he looked the part when he travelled through, so it very much seems as though the two timelines are going to be colliding again, a lot sooner than anticipated. After this, we then cut back to the 1700s timeline, just after the Battle of Saratoga, and we were back at the camp that we saw open the trailer, the camp which belonged to the British Army. However, it immediately cut to the Continental Army where we saw Ian speaking with Claire. We didn't see much of Ian in Episode 7, so it'll be good to see him get some screen time again. He said the line, there's going to be another battle, isn't there? To which Claire responded with, I think so. Claire is correct in what she's saying. The Battle of Saratoga took place over two battles, one in September, which was the one that we saw in Episode 7 of the show and the second one took place a month later in October, so I feel this conversation is most probably taking place in between the first and second battle, whilst Jamie is healing and recovering from his injuries. The following shot that we had was of a battle taking place with the general marching behind the British army. This means that we could well be seeing the second battle taking place in the next episode of the show. It would certainly be an eventful moment and an epic event to end before the mid-season finale, we also had a shot of the rifleman that recruited Jamie aiming at the opposition side. After this, we were back in the 1980s where we had Roger saying to Brianna, I'll find him, Brie. I'll bring him home. He was saying this whilst they were at Crevna Dunn and he was preparing to go back in time. It didn't look as though Buck was there in the trailer, so this could mean that Buck may stay in the present day. Within the novel, Buck went back with him, so maybe they're going to be deviating in the show slightly. We saw in the previous episode that on the family tree, Buck was ultimately no more from 1778, the year that he went back in time. Maybe it is because he went missing and never returned back there, so his family just presumed that he had died, but I guess we'll find that out. The next shot that we had was of Claire sitting in the dark inside of the tent that she was staying in. She was holding what looked like a white rag, so I'm going to presume that she's there healing Jamie, which would also add to the slightly worried face that's present on her. 
We then had a shot of William, an individual that's had a large focus in the past couple of episodes, but this was the only main inclusion that we had in the trailer. He was a changed man at the end of episode 7 as he killed multiple people in battle, so his mindset is going to be drastically different moving forward. After this, there was a shot of Rachel and Ian looking like they were going to embrace one another for the first time. It's been on the cards for the past couple of episodes. There's been a flirtatious nature between the both of them as they've been sharing smiles and kind words towards each other. So I think this is the episode where I feel we'll finally see them together, and the final shot of them in the trailer confirmed that. This does make things awkward for William though, as he openly admitted in episode 7 that he cared for Rachel, so I do wonder if a triangle is going to occur. Or if on the battlefield, one will kill the other. We saw in episode 6 that William said that they have both saved each other's lives, so it's even now. Which could be a slight nod to something that's going to be coming in the future when one has to essentially take out the other one. We then had a succession of shots where there were battle scenes taking place, which makes me think that we're going to be seeing the second battle of Saratoga. And there was also one where it looked as though it could have been William being beaten in close combat. There were two other quick shots in succession. One was of Bree standing by Craig Nadun in an upset state as I presume that she's going to be missing her son, worrying about Roger being back in time, and also having to care for Amanda on her own now. Plus, there was one of Ian looking like he was fearful over what he was looking at on the battlefield. Then, the final shot in the trailer was from when I think Claire found Jamie's body, and it looks as though she was going to be getting into a bit of confrontation, due to the fact that she picked up a sword and pointed it towards somebody. Maybe this could be William, and we may see some truths start to emerge about who his father actually is. The next episode looks like it's most definitely going to be an explosive finale, and it's really going to give it a mid-season send-off that it deserves. Will we see Jeremiah being found? Who knows? I imagine we will. And if it's anything like the novels, then he's most probably going to be a little bit closer to home than we think. Bring on the next episode. So, there you have it. Outlander Season 7 Episode 8, Trailer Explained. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cuts getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think is going to happen? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.